Let's study about different types of fire extinguishers. Water filled fire extinguisher. They may be either gas, cartridge or stored pressure type. They are filled with water along with some amount of CO2. Most suitable for class A fires, cloth, wood etc. Very dangerous for class B and C fires. Foam filled fire extinguishers. These may be of stored pressure or gas cartridge types. Foam separate the oxygen element from the other elements in fire. Most suitable for flammable liquid fires, run-in liquid fires, must not be used on fire where electrical equipment is allowed. Dry powder filled fire extinguisher. Extinguishers fitted with dry powder may be of the gas cartridge or stored pressure type. They extinguish the fire by separating the fuel from the oxygen element. Best suited for class D fires, IA metals, useless in and other fields. Carbon dioxide filled fire extinguishers. The extinguisher takes away oxygen supply to fire with the help of carbon dioxide. This type is easily distinguished by distinctively shaped discourage horn. Most suitable for fire involving liquids, electrical fires. Helen filled fire extinguisher. They may be either gas cartridge or stored pressure type. They contain halon gas that is a very effective in extinguishing a fire. Most suitable for fire involving liquids, electrical equipments. Now let's study about safe disposal of toxic dust. The automobiles produces a variety of toxic waste such as carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxide and other gases, asbestos gas. These are harmful to human health. Hence, a systematic and scientifically designed method are adopted for safe disposal such as toxic waste. Do not use compressed air to clean dust from various components and parts of the vehicle. After cleaning vehicle, there are certain chemicals present in this vehicle diet which turns toxic. Hence, wash work clothes separately from other clothes so that toxic dust does not get transferred to other clothes. Now let's study safe handling and periodic testing of lifting equipment. Safe and successful lifting operations depends on periodical testing of lifting equipment, maintenance and handling of operation. Failure of this equipment may result in significant loss and fatal accident. Safety precaution for handling of lift and cranes. Never exceed the safe working load, that's SWL, of the equipment you are using. Always support vehicles with axle stand before working underneath them. There is always a danger when loads are lifted or suspended. Never work under an unsupported, suspended or raised load such as suspended engine. Always ensure that lifting equipment such as jacks, hoist, axle stands, 
slings at extra are adequate and suitable for the job in good condition and regularly maintained periodic testing of lifting equipment visually inspect the component of the lifting equipment such as lifting chain slings chain host before operating the equipment in hydraulic function of lift crane cheek the oil level and top up the oil level periodically the hydraulic oil used in the lifts or crane should be replaced periodically the lifting equipment should be overhauled once or twice a year cheek the electrical connections of the liquid equipment periodically the calibration of the liquid equipment should be done once a year and calibration certificate must be obtained from authorized centers hi my name is sita by this you complete unit 1 of mechanical diesel trade now you know all components related to the safety i'll be helping you to solve the queries kindly glo mention to the below mentioned link to submit your queries